Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited for today's video. Today, we are heading to my favorite thrift store, and I'm hoping to find some really good things to resell today. I just got home. I was at Starbucks this morning. I've been really enjoying going there to list lately. It's really just kind of changed things up, and it's been a nice like atmosphere. I like it. It's very cozy for fall. So I just got home. I listed 16 things this morning on Poshmark, and so I'll cross list those later but for now I went ahead to the thrift store and take you guys thrifting with me I'm hoping to find some really good pieces I usually have really good luck at this thrift store so I'm hoping to find some good shoes I'll look through jeans and dresses and if I have time maybe I'll hit up the tops but there's so much there it always takes me so long to get through everything it's gonna be probably like a five hour thrifting day today so I need to head out soon so that way I can get home in time to go to the homecoming football game tonight with GU Jeremy, you and I are going to the game. So we got a lot to do today. I got to go get gas before we head out. And I'm thinking I want to kind of create um, a list, a kind of hoping list of what I'm going to hope I find today at the thrift store. I'm thinking I want to find a pair of hokas maybe. Um, I would love to find something designer that should sell for over $100. Men's crewnecks. Men's crewnecks? What? Men's Why? For me. Oh, for you? Oh, okay. I want to hopefully find a really cool men's crew neck for Jeremy. Do you want vintage or what do you want? Vintage. Vintage, okay. A vintage men's crew neck. And then if I can find anything Patagonia, cool, or like a Disney Spirit jersey, something like that would be amazing. And I would love to be able to find a pair of jeans. If I find a dojo jean today, then I feel like I should reward myself with like Chick-fil-A. I feel like that is the goal. If I can find any of those things, I'm going to reward myself and take you guys with me. So let's see if I can find anything at the thrift store in my list. And hopefully we will find some other good things along the way. But let's go together to the thrift store. It's time to head out because I need to get going because I'm going to be there four hours today. <laughs> Never before. I gave myself goosebumps. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Breathe deep, breathe deep.
Okay, so I just got out of the thrift store. I ended up spending $87 and something cents. I was spent over $100, but I did have a um, like loyalty kind of points built up my, oh, I'm look crazy. I was in there for what? At least four hours, maybe five. What time did I get here? I did end up finding some very exciting pieces. I think you guys saw my reaction when I found Alexander McQueen for the first time. So that definitely checks my box of something that I can sell for at least a hundred dollars. Something that's like designer. I also found some really good other pieces too that should sell for a great amount. I am going to reward myself. I did not eat lunch. It's 4 30 right now. I had a little think bar around like two because I was starving but it is time to reward myself. We are heading to Chick-fil-A. I am so ready. I'm gonna get some chicken tenders. They are the superior choice to chicken nuggets at Chick-fil-A. Come for me if you want. And lemonade and fries. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. So we're heading to reward myself. Woo, woo, woo. Okay friends, we are back home and I ended up finding so many amazing pieces. I was feeling really discouraged while I was in the store because one, I really wanted Chick-fil-A and two, I just felt like I wasn't finding as many amazing pieces as I normally do. But then that all changed when I hit the second half of the dress section, I ended up finding the amazing piece that I cannot wait to show you along with some other amazing pieces as well. And just like, I, it really turned around my thrift shop. I thought I was doing horrible and then I ended up doing really well. So I ended up picking up 27 items to resell. Some of those pieces are for me or for family members as well, but 27 items in total. And I spent, I think just a little bit over a hundred dollars. So I spent a little bit around like three or $4 per item. It's a little confusing because everything that was orange was half off. Green was 33% off. And then I also had, I think at least 10% off on top of all of that. So it gets a little hard, but I think we're going to factor it cost of goods right around $350, $4. But let's start with the piece that I'm sure you are wanting to see and is the thing that I'm most excited about, even though there are some other really good pieces. And that would be the Alexander McQueen dress. Now, I'm so excited about this piece. This is my first time ever finding Alexander McQueen anything. And I think that this might be a really good find. I haven't done research on it yet, but this is what the tag looks like. It says right here, Alexander McQueen, and it looks like it's in great condition, but this was marked at $12.49, which is a little bit pricey for a dress, but not for a designer piece. So this is a very, very Alexander McQueen type style. The white parts on this dress are actually like a mesh. It's a pretty thick mesh, but can you see the outline of my hand? I think that this could be worth a lot of good money. So I'm excited to see how much this is worth. Maybe I'll throw some, hopefully some comps up on the screen, but I paid less than $12 for this, probably around 10 bucks for this, but I have a good feeling about this. And at the very least, this should resell for at least $100. I'm hoping to be a couple hundred dollars, but that just means I need to do more research. This is a size small, and this is what the interior tag looks like. So again, very, very excited about this. Who knows what it's worth, but I think that it should do really well. But I spent, what, almost $100, and hopefully this will already pay for the whole haul. So that's a great place to start, but let's look at the other pieces because I have some amazing pieces in this haul. Then the next piece I found, I'm actually keeping for myself. I just thought these were so cute. I love this boot. Look at the chunky heel. This is from Madden Girl. So Steve Madden's, I think it's like his teenage line. I loved the color on these. It's a very nice, like, just kind of like light tan. These are size nine and a half. They are my size. A little bit big, but still close enough. And I actually wore these to church yesterday. So already getting some good wear out of these. And these are in great condition other than they have a little bit of a mark right here on the toe. But for me, do I care? Not at all. So I got those for myself. And then next up, I was excited about this as well. This is definitely the right time of year to be listing jackets. And this was a pretty cool one. I don't know if I've found a Levi's denim jacket to resell in a long time. So I'm not sure if this will sell quickly, but look at this cropped blue denim jacket from Levi Strauss. 
I think this is so cool. It's in a size extra large, which is an amazing size. This is the tag and all of their jackets, I felt like were really high. They were all kind of marked up, but this one was only marked at $7.99. So I decided to grab this. So I probably got what, 80 cents off. So around $7 instead of $8 for this. And then it was in a size extra large. So I thought this was a cute little easy throw on moment for fall and winter, really cute nothing wrong with it. And so I was looking at comps and I think I could probably resell this right around $40, maybe 50 at the most, but maybe I will list it at 50 and then hope to make at least 35 to 40 off of it. I thought that was really cute though and a great price for a great size jacket. And then I found another really nice staple and very well-made staple for the fall and winter. It is this gorgeous dress from Vince. This is a long sleeve dress. So it has great sleeves with buttons at the end, fabric covered, of course. And this is probably about knee length, but the long sleeves make this a really nice piece for fall and winter. And this is in a size extra small from Vince. Now, they cut out the interior tag, and I hate when they do that, but I do think this is probably a silk blend. It might be 100% silk, but I'm not sure. Um, but it definitely runs oversized. I would say that a smaller medium could probably fit into this as well, but it's in great condition. There are no flaws. And so I really enjoy picking up Vince and sometimes it sits, but it's so well made and the quality is high and I like investing in really nice pieces for my closet. So I picked that up and again, my overall cost of goods was right around that three, $4 mark. So for that, I'm hoping to resell this. I'll probably list around 75 and then hope to make at least 50 on that. And then this is a piece I kind of picked up, well, based on the brand, but also the style. I thought this was really sweet and cute. It's this really cool and soft knit sweater, and it has this beautiful color scheme to it. So it's kind of like a marled pink and blue and purple. It's very, um, very cute, very kind of pastel-y. It is from J. Crew, and it's in a size large. I just thought this was such a nice sweater for fall and winter. And then I felt it, and it just felt so nice. And then the materials tag, it's actually a mixture of polyamide, but it's 30% merino wool and 10% alpaca, 4% elastane. So it's an alpaca and merino wool blend sweater that I got for $3.99. So at the end of the day, less than $4 for sure for this. But I just thought this was such a beautiful knit piece. And I just think that it's really well made and is going to make somebody <laughs> very happy this fall. And then next up, we have another kind of bread and butter brand that I've been liking reselling lately. And that is Bowden. And this is actually a very well-priced dress from Bowden. I would say it's probably midi length because this is what a size six long oh so maybe not midi maybe it's just like knee length if you're tall um but this is from Bowden. it is an older tag from them you can tell because it has a thicker type face for the Bowden. um but this was only marked at 549 and green was one of the tags that was half off right no no it was 33 percent off so i got this for like three bucks maybe less for a nice long Bowden dress I thought that was worth a try for sure. It's a little stretchy, it definitely feels nice. And so it's made up of 95% viscose and 5% elastane. And so I think that this should probably be able to resell for 35 to 50 bucks. I usually put these dresses up around 50 and then sell them probably right around 40. So for me, that was definitely worth it for less than $5, more like $3. So I thought that would be a good choice. And then, Oh, hi, Sadie. My next door neighbor's dog is right outside the window. <laughs> but now we have a pair of Stuart Weitzman shoes. And I have only picked up, I think, one or two pairs from Stuart Weitzman before. But they've always been like outdated styles that just don't move. And I never find a good deal on like a more recent style. But I thought these ones were actually very cute, more of a modern feel to them. They're this really nice chocolate brown leather kind of Oxford. These are a women's pair of shoes though. And it looks like they're in a size nine. They actually have the paper at the bottom of the shoe still in them. So they look like they haven't been worn very much and they've been taken well care of. So this is what the bottoms look like. They have been worn, but they're in great condition. And these were only marked at five bucks. So I decided to grab these for $5. Hopefully I can resell these close to 50 bucks. That's my hope. 
But this is the first pair I picked up from Stuart Weitzman in a long time. But these were in really good condition. The inside looks really good, and that is the Stuart Weitzman tag right there. So I thought we'd give those a go, but I'm interested to see how they'll sell. But I do think these would be really cute for fall and winter with some high socks and like maybe a tennis skirt. I think that'd be cute. And then, oh my gosh, I could not believe when I found these in the cardigan section. These are so soft and I know that these are pricey. I have picked up Barefoot Dreams twice before and I think those pieces are still sitting in my closet. So I don't know if it's just like harder to resell these on Poshmark, if I need to look more like on selling them on eBay. Um, let me know what your experience has been with Barefoot Dreams. But to find a Barefoot Dreams cardigan like this, for $3 and what, 79 cents? Yeah, $3 and 79 cents. Plus my discounts was insane. So there is the tag, cozy chic light, small slash medium. And this is just kind of like, almost like a bat wing kind of feel to the sleeve, a very short little sleeve. Um, but I think this is a really fun color. It's definitely of a, it's definitely a peachy, pinkish orange color in person. So thick and luxurious. And I found it in a second color. So here's the other one, a white one. I feel like this one should do well, right? If it was me, I definitely would want the white one over a pink one just because it's more versatile. But this is what this one looks like. Same exact style, definitely donated by the same person. It's in the same size as well. So another Barefoot Dreams size, small slash medium. And it's like this kind of ribbed, really soft, really thick, nice sweater. Like I just have to touch it, you know? It's so nice. So I grabbed that as well for around $3. It was a hard yes for me. And hopefully I can resell them maybe around 50. I would like that very much, but I will have to see, because again, I have not had good luck selling it yet, but I couldn't pass on such a good deal. So let me know what you guys would price that to sell it. So then next up, I have another great dress. And this is a very unusual style for this brand, but I decided to pick it up the comps looked good for it. It is this little white dress with these tassels on the bottom. It's a smocked top with some smocking to the sleeves off the shoulder moment. And this is from Lily Pulitzer, which I feel like Lily usually has much more tropical, very like vacation style prints. It's a very print heavy usually, but this is Lily Pulitzer. It's in a size medium. It was marked at $11.49, which is probably too much to pay for this but green was 33% off. So I got this for more like seven, $8. And for me, that was worth it. But I thought it'd be cute on, I did find stock photos. I think this is a little bit of a puff sleeve down there. And it is in a good size, a size medium. So I thought I'd give it a go. And for Lily Pulitzer, I usually list dresses, if they're short like this, usually around like 60, $50. And then hopefully we'll resell it around 40 to 50. And then I was so excited about this find because normally when I go to this thrift store, I am with other people and people don't like to thrift for as long as I do. And so I usually only have a chance to look through jeans, some dresses and shoes before it, like we had to call it quits. I went early, I knew I had time to look through the whole store, it was wonderful. I was in the top section where I found so many pieces that I normally would have missed. And so when I was in that top section, I found this. And it was just like one of those moments where you're like, yes, I love thrifting, isn't it just so good? This is a gorgeous top and it has that little tie on the front. It's kind of a snakeskin pattern to it. And it has a deep V right here. But this is from Good American, which I don't know if I've ever found something from them that is not a pair of jeans at the thrift. So this was exciting for me to find this. Good American, it was marked at $6.49. Green was 33% off. And this is in a size five. So this is a plus size, I believe, but it is such a fun long sleeve top. And it has gorgeous draping gorgeous pleats to the sleeve and it has that collar. I think that this should do well. I just thought that was such a nice staple, especially like a workwear piece. If you go into the office, a really good find for like maybe four bucks at the end of the day. Pretty happy with that. I've not sold a top from Good American before, so we'll see how the comps compared if I was selling a pair of jeans because I know their jeans can do really well. Um, I'm hoping and expecting to get at least 35 for that, maybe a little bit more. That would be phenomenal. 
And then I got excited when I found this piece. This is the teensiest, tiniest little dress. This is a like a tube dress with that zipper detail up here on the front. Little tiny thing. It was marked as $6. But this is from Super Down, which is a brand that is sold at Revolve. And I really do enjoy selling Revolve pieces. But this isn't a size extra small. Would have been great to get it up for homecoming season. But what can you do? I do think it should still do well. Um, for something like this, normally for a Revolve dress, I would list it around 75, maybe a little higher, since this is tiny and kind of more of like a smaller, less substantial piece, I'll probably only get maybe 35 to 50 out of that, but still thought it was worth picking up because I had that discount and it was really cheap cost of goods today. And then this is a brand I've recently picked up for the first time, but when I saw this piece, I was like, oh, this is very cute, and I feel like I can definitely find a buyer for this. This is from the brand Sale to Sable, but this one also had all these cute little tassels on it that look almost like pom-poms. I would say this is a tunic with a little bit of a slit on the side, has all this fun kind of smocking, really fun, like stretchy-ish design to around the neckline and then this is what the tag looks like sale to sable it's in a size medium <laughs> and what this was marked at like 3.99 this was marked at 3.99 so i got this for three bucks and i just thought this was so cute i love the color of it it definitely is very very more so like florida wear i could see somebody wearing this on vacation it's gorgeous it's 55 percent rayon 45 percent cotton and the comps for a sale to sable kind of more like tunic style like this we're selling right around 50 bucks so i decided to grab that it's so cute okay now i have this piece which i would normally pick up to resell but i think i might keep these for myself for a while these are a pair of fit flops which i have recently become sort of obsessed with reselling i've only sold one pair but i picked up probably like four or five all within the last month, but I never had picked them up before this. <laughs> but they just, they've been doing really well. I get a lot of likes on them. I love this quilted, really like puffy, plush shoe. I think they're so sweet. They are like a slipper and I kind of just love them. I'm obsessed with it. They are a US size eight and I am a nine, but my feet do fit in them. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna try them on one more time, right, right here. They're a little small, but they're so cute. I love them, but they don't really fit great. Hmm, I think I need to sell them, but like, they're so cute. Can you see? <laughs> what am I? What? Uh, uh, that's what they look like on. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm getting so flexible. Uh, so those are now gonna be sell. And since I'm selling them, I'll probably be able to get right around 40 bucks for those. And then this next piece I grabbed for my mom. So I feel like I'm always grabbing things for my family when I'm thrifting. This was marked at $3, so not expensive at all. But this is a brand that she loves to wear. It's Life is Good. I got her um, hooked on it, I think from the bins maybe I got her her first piece. But this has this cute little cardinal on it, which my grandmother absolutely loved cardinals and she passed away about a year ago. So. I grabbed this for my mom because I knew she would love it and it would make her think of her mom. So, <sighs> mom, don't cry. <laughs> she watches all my videos. I'm, sh I sh I'm sure she's crying. But that is for my mom. So I got that. And then I was so excited to find another pair of Spanx jeans. I absolutely adore selling Spanx things in general. They really sell well. These are a size medium and they are one of their pull-on pairs of jeans that really suck you in and kind of feel comfortable like a legging but also make you look great these have a raw edge hem they're kind of like a charcoal black color a little bit of light distressing throughout and i think that they're in great shape like the butt the inside of the thighs everything looks really good size medium i'm thinking i can get for these probably 50 to 60 dollars and this leg has the tear at the knee as well and that looks like it's in good shape so again first bangs probably looking at 50 bucks and i just really enjoy selling them and they tend to move pretty quickly which is what i am here for and then i found these i think i found these in the kids section i actually literally just sent out a pair of these ugg slippers today they're the ugg tasman slipper i have found quite a few of these lately they have a good following so if you can find 
this slipper from Ugg in good condition. I think it's worth reselling. I sold the pair I sent out today for 40 or 50 bucks. These are a US size six. So they're a little bit smaller. I probably won't get as much for them because they also do have some wear on the bottom. But since these are used mainly as a slipper for most people, you can get away with a little bit of wear on the bottom in my opinion. But these are a women's size six. And for these, I'm probably looking at hopefully like 35. That's what I'm gonna hope for. I'll probably list at 40 and then hope to make 30, 35 bucks off of these. But if these were a larger size and in a little bit better condition, at least for the bottoms, I'd be looking at listing them more like 50 to 75. And then I was so excited. This is the only pair of Madewell jeans I found this day. And I am so excited because these are the curvy high rise skinny jeans. They're in a petite, but they also are in my size and they were an orange tag. So these were marked at $8.99. So I got a pair of new jeans for myself for $4.50. And if you guys have been watching any of my thrift with me's for myself, you would know that I have been hardcore struggling to find jeans that fit me. Um, so I'm very, very excited that these are a good fit from Mabel for me. And I am actively working on trying to get a little bit more in shape, especially for my chronic illness. If you guys don't know, I pass out a lot. And so it's kind of hard. It's been really hard lately to work out. So I've gained some weight, but these are going to fit me for now. And then if I lose some weight, then I will sell them. So not too shabby for 450, great price to resell. Would totally pick those up to resell for that much, but also I'm gonna keep them for myself for now. And then guys, this is the first thing I found that I was so excited about. And these are definite bolo. So if you guys don't know about this particular style of Nikes, then you should probably write this down. But this is a nice green pair. They look like this from the side. From the top, this is what they look like. But these are the Nike Air 270s. This is my third time ever finding these twice now at this thrift store, once at a buy sell trade store. These particular shoes from Nike do really well on the resale market. My first one I sold for $100, my second pair for 90, I think. These were marked at $5, so I got a great steal on these. But when I got home, I saw this on the side. So unfortunately, it's starting to develop a hole over here. So that will definitely detract from the value. I don't think there's a way to really fix it, but to find Air 270s is great. So hopefully I can still make, I might be able to still make like 50 bucks from these, but I definitely wish I would have noticed that whole, although I probably still would have picked them up because that's so cheap of a price for these shoes. I'm not sure. I don't know if I would have picked them up or not, but if you see these and they're in great condition, definitely pick them up, I would say. So then we have a few more pieces. Keep on hanging in there, people. This piece is a, another kind of Revolve sort of brand. This is from the brand Pistola. And this is a really cute pair of denim. These have a very kind of frayed, distressed hem to them, distressing throughout. And then we have a button fly as well. These are really adorable and they are in really excellent condition, like hardly anywhere. I don't even know if they have been worn. These are in a size 24, which is a smaller size for sure. But I do think that I can probably resell these for hopefully hmm, 50 bucks. That'd be great. So I'm excited to see what I can get for these. Hi, Odie. Hi, baby. Did you just get back from a walk? Did you have fun with daddy? Okay, leave the pile. Leave the pile. What are you doing, baby -o? What are you doing? Hi, little monkey. Hi, little monkey. And I absolutely love using old books for home decor. I really am into interior design, but also I am obsessed with Nancy Drew. And I just think this is such a cool looking little cover as well. Here's the side view. And this actually was published in 1967. So it's an older Nancy Drew book. And I just love collecting these and using them for home decor, but also I wouldn't mind saving these for children someday as well but this is the clue in the crossword cipher. It was marked at $1.50 and then it was orange, so it was half off. So I got this for like 50 cents at the end of the day. I grew up reading Nancy Drew and playing the Nancy Drew computer games, which are flame. So I just love that. So I grabbed that. And then I also found this jumpsuit, which I just think is so cool. It is this kind of 
wide leg, a little cropped, probably jumpsuit. And this is from the brand Rails, which I've only found a few times, but this is from Rails. It's in a size small, and this is actually a linen blend jumpsuit. And it's, I think it's black. It's hard between navy and black, but I'm pretty sure this is a black and gray striped piece. And we have the little tie belts still attached, which is great. Cause sometimes we lose those when they make it to the thrift store. But this was a reasonable price. I think this was marked like $5. They always mark their jumpsuits, I feel like, really far down. Um, so I paid like four bucks for that. That was such a good find. And this hopefully should resell around $50 to $75. The linen jumpsuits from Rails looked like they were performing really well on Posh. So that's hopefully what I'll get around for it. At least 50 though, which is amazing. And now I'm saving one of the best finds of the day for the end. So make sure you stay until the end. Also, if you're enjoying today's video, give it a thumbs up and also make sure you hit the subscribe button. But this next piece is something where the tag itself was completely worn off. I don't have a size, I don't have a brand, but when I felt it, I found this in the shirt section, I just knew without a doubt that this was Athleta. I could just feel it and know. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. It has that kind of tulip, kind of crossover design. And then when I looked on the inside tag, I was indeed right. There's the Athleta logo. So I have the fabric content and I actually do have when it came out, which is holiday 2015. I took a chance on this. I think this is like a size large or extra large. It looks comfy at the very least. I'll keep it for myself. But this was marked at $5 and then it was 33% off because it was green. So I decided to give it a go, even though it didn't have a size or the actual athletic tag because it's so nice. It's so comfy and it was made with 97% modal and 3% spandex. So modal is a really nice fabric, very comfy and soft. So I decided to give it a go. Okay, now <laughs> this is the last piece that I picked up for myself. And I literally, when I saw this, I got so extremely excited because I have been looking, I have been collecting things for when Jeremy and I have children for a long time, but I have never found anything like this. And this is something I knew without a shadow of a doubt I needed for sure to save for someday when we have children. I cannot believe that this was at the thrift store. This is this gorgeous, it looks handmade, this wooden train that's all connected to each other. This is all of the different pieces. There's the caboose. This looks like it's a car, so I'm not exactly sure why it's in this set. I should do a reverse image search on this. It was missing whatever goes on top of this train car, but for a fully wooden train like this, this was marked at like $3.99, guys. And it's really cute too. They're all attached with these little leather straps that you can actually undo. So then you can detach them. Is this not the best thing? And I just think it's so cool. So I was so excited to find something like this that looks really well made and just like not plastic, you know? And so look at the knot on that piece. Oh, so cool. So I grabbed this for less than $5. I'm still in awe. Look how cute the little engine is. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, we have two more pieces. And the last one, I'm telling you guys, you cannot miss. It's so good. This is a little off the shoulder, kind of shorter, very nice dark pink colored, almost, I think this is linen dress from Tommy Bahama. And this is the Tommy Bahama tag. I see a lot of Tommy Bahama. I don't always pick it up. But this was marked at only $5.99. Usually they mark this crap up, but this is also an orange tag. So I got this for less than $3. And this is made with 52% linen and 48% viscose. So the linen blend dresses from Tommy Bahama seem to be doing really well, at least when I was doing some looking up in the store. So I think that I should probably be able to get somewhere between probably 35 and 50. I'll probably list between 50 and 65 and hope to make at least 35 to 40, but I thought that was worth it for paying less than $3 for it. And then <laughs> if the first piece was the thing that made me so excited, this is the piece that should close out the show because this is an absolutely stunning dress and it is new with tags and you'll never be able to guess what this is. Look at this gorgeous dress. It is strapless with all of that silvery like sparkle. There's just some like threads that are sparkly. Then there's also some sequins in here as well. 
So it's this gorgeous little kind of cocktail dress. And the back here has a little slit as well at the bottom. But this is from a brand I picked up one time before, and that is Thea. So Thea Couture, they make some really beautiful dresses. The last piece I sold was this blue dress with all these applique flowers that was like descending in waves of flowers. It was so pretty. This one is also absolutely gorgeous. And this still has the tag on it. I think this might also be vintage based on this tag. But how much do you guys think this was selling for at Lord & Taylor? Take a guess, okay? It was selling for $595 at one point. Somebody bought this for a couple hundred dollars. And if it's vintage, that means they paid a lot of money for this. There's boning in the bodice, a zipper on the back, absolutely stunning dress. And it is in a size eight. And then it also has like the built-in corset on the inside. It's a stunning dress. If it was originally $595, I'm hoping since it's new with tags, probably dead stock vintage from a brand that I've resold before for $100 without tags. I'm hoping for at least $200 maybe more like three to $400 for this dress. That might be aiming for the stars, but I think it's really beautiful. And I do think that it is dead stock, which I think should add to the value. I'm excited to see how much I can get for this dress between this and the Alexander McQueen. Like, <laughs> I am so happy I went thrifting this day. So good, guys. I don't think I picked up anything to resell for less than $35 probably. I'm hoping to resell everything and make around 50 bucks on each piece. Plus these two dresses I'm hoping to make more on than all the other pieces. So we're looking at some good profit and I spent less than 100 bucks in total. In case you missed it, down below you can now see that I have released merch. It is all based off of what I say at the beginning of every single video, which is I hope you guys are doing so, so well. And I spun that into I am doing so, so well with a little piece of lavender, which is my favorite flower. So you can buy that on any piece that you see down below my videos. It is a link with Teespring. So I do make a small commission from each sale. I don't make tons, but it is a great way to support my channel. And I also have a Thrift With Tea mug because you guys know I love my vanilla chai lattes. And you gotta have a good mug for it. So if you guys wanna shop my merch, you guys can now do so. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.